And so they did this, what would have been a finger stick, on this little nub on his arm. We've reinvented the traditional laboratory infrastructure with a mission to make early diagnosis and early detection a reality in the context of our healthcare system. Her voice, her deep baritone voice, was that fake too? According to uh, my sources, uh, it was uh, an employee who joined the company in 2011, uh, had a meeting with her shortly after he joined, and um, it was late in the day, and, and uh, they were finishing up the meeting, and uh, she sort of um, expressed her excitement that he had recently joined, and as she got up, she forgot to put on the baritone and slipped back into a more natural-sounding young woman's voice. Was everything about Elizabeth Holmes a fraud? A lot of it was a lie. All right, Elizabeth Holmes, this is it. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. You must go straight to jail, lady. Okay. All right. So um, the Theranos founder, Elizabeth Holmes, we did the report on her delaying or attempting to delay her reporting date to, you know, start her prison sentence. Well, it's done. It's over. They've denied any more delays. Lady, you got to go to prison. OK, you got to start serving this sentence. And guess what? During this time, if your appeal comes out in your favor, then we have a key to the cell. We'll just open it and let you go. But for now, you got to go to prison. We're going to tell you which prison she's going to. And she is going to get, you know, a benefit while she's down there. We'll get into that. But the saga of Elizabeth Holmes has finally come to an end. Um, it's all over, but the shouting and, you know, these are important stories we cover when these big executives go out and they defraud people, investors, customers, okay, clients, partners, and they do that. And in this case, it's especially egregious because she built up the hopes of people who was suffering from various ailments making them think that there was some promise, some light at the end of the tunnel for their condition, quite possibly, when it was all smoke and mirrors. Don't forget that about Elizabeth Holmes, okay? Uh, it apparently never occurred to her that, you know, this is wrong. This is wrong. I got folk that are, you know, ill, suffering. Their families are going through this with them. And I know that this is just a pipe dream. This is wrong. I'm not going to do this. Never occurred to her. Theranos found a request to stay out of prison denied. Before we get into it, guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, enlist, become a soldier of finance. Let me know you did so in the comments. I will salute you. I'm blown away by you guys have just been hitting that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. It is a vote of confidence. It tells the algorithm to help the channel grow. Let more people see what we're talking about over here. Go ahead. Hit that thumbs up right now. Get it out of the way. Let's get into it. So, okay, she's been ordered, um, well, her request to stay out of prison pending her appeal. It's been denied. Holmes and former deputy Sonny Balwani have also been ordered to pay $452 million in restitution. You know, it always, um, I don't know how that works because it always gets me when you get these big restitution fines and it's like, you know they don't have the money, right? So how does that work? Does it just mean you are, you know, for the rest of your life, you're working for someone else? Or does it mean that this expires at some point? I don't know. If someone knows, let me know in the comments. Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes cannot stay out of prison pending her appeal, according to a Tuesday court ruling. That would have been the um, 16th of uh, May, 2023. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit said Holmes' appeal doesn't raise a substantial question of law and that even if it did, it is unlikely that it would be enough to overturn her fraud conviction. Holmes is the disgraced founder of blood testing startup Theranos. She was convicted of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud against the company's investors in January 2022. She was sentenced to more than 11 years in prison. And let me go back, guys. I, you know, you know me, I, 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 we have the channel, I'm interested in making money and that sort of thing. And um, it's all good, right? 
But honestly, at the end of the day, I would rather live, you know, uh, uh, you could have made a million dollars, Tyrone, and you only made 500,000. If only you had of, you know, did this thing that was outside the ethical boundaries, you could have, you could have hit the big leagues. I'm fine with that not happening. I'm absolutely fine with that. First of all, I love my life. Okay. Um, would I like to have a Gulfstream jet? Eh, maybe. I mean, where the hell would I go? I'm a homebody. You know, I'm a recluse, right? Uh, hermit type guy. Where the hell would I go in a Learjet? Uh, I do want a sailboat because I want, I want hundreds of miles before I see another person. Every direction, 360, no people. Okay. Sounds great to me. But um, in all seriousness, guys, look, it's just not worth it. Look at it from her perspective now. She's going to prison for 11 years. Now, she's in the federal system. She's got to serve a substantial, the majority of that time. So let's just say she's going to spend the next decade in prison. All right. This woman, I don't know how old she is, but she's got to at least be in her 40s. So when she gets out, she'll be in her 50s. All right. Uh, and my, how things would have changed, you know, when she gets out, look at the pace of technology, the pace of finance. Okay. A large chunk of her life will have been, you know, just evaporated. It's like she'd been in a, you know, in, um, sci-fi, they put you in stasis. Okay. They got to make a long spaceship travel. She's in stasis. Okay. And 10 years is going to pass by. Her children are going to be 10 years older. All right. Uh, when she gets out, she's 39 years old. So she will be 50, pushing 50 by the time she sees the light of day again. Um, was it worth it, lady? And now all the millions you wanted to make, you're left with a multi hundred million dollar fine. Later Tuesday, Holmes and her former second in command, Ramesh Sunny Balwani, who was also convicted of fraud at Theranos, were jointly ordered by a lower court to pay $452 million in restitution to investors, including $125 million to Rupert Murdoch, the executive chairman of News Corp and the owner of the Wall Street Journal, also owns Fox News, some other properties. The federal government, he needs that money because they just got sued and hit with that big judgment. So thanks, Elizabeth. Uh, but it is in a lower court, so she's probably going to appeal that. The federal government had previously asked for more than $800 million in restitution, uh, according to court filings. Holmes was originally scheduled to report to prison on April 27th, but her reporting date was delayed. And we reported on that while the appeals court considered her request. A new reporting date has not been set. A lawyer for Holmes didn't respond to request for comment. A spokesman for the government also declined to comment. All right, now here's the benefit I was talking about. She does have kids. The mother of two young children appealed her conviction after the federal judge who oversaw her trial for criminal fraud. Uh, U.S. District Judge Edward Davila denied her bid for a new trial. Uh, she filed a 130-page brief with the Ninth Circuit that largely took issue with the decisions Judge Davila made during the trial in San Jose, California. So that judge probably said, look, she's complaining about me in this brief. Let's at least take a minute to slow the game down so I won't look like I'm engaging in any bias. Came back and said, yeah, <laughs> you're going to jail and you can complain about me from your prison cell. Uh so Holmes, had, uh, Holmes first had asked Judge Davila if she could stay out of prison while her appeal was being heard. Her lawyers argued she wasn't a flight risk, which is total BS. She is indeed a flight risk because we covered that. The incident where she booked a flight, a one-way flight to Mexico. And then someone in the comments said, well, we're, we're, she wasn't a flight risk. Her husband proved that she wasn't when he drove back. When he drove, he probably was trying to clear his own name from being implicated as potentially trying to harbor a fugitive. Okay, so I'm not giving him any points for that because uh, he should have. You, you're booking a one, even if your plan is to abscond. Okay, 
and for those of you from West Baltimore to go on the lam, <laughs> uh, even if that's your plan, make it look good. Buy a two-way ticket. All right. <sighs> all right. So she was a flight risk. The district court recommended that Ms. Holmes serve her time at a federal prison camp in Byron, Texas, because that facility does allow for family visitations. And again, she has small children. So she can see her kids in prison, which many of mother many mothers do, okay, uh, if they have been convicted. Michael Friedman, a former federal prosecutor who, who now runs his own firm, said denying the request doesn't necessarily mean anything either way for the appeal at large. If it had been granted, it would have been a sign that there's really a strong appellate issue. But the flip side is not as telling. It's more routine. All right. So she's now being treated like we would have been treated from the start. Um, yeah. Let's talk about that fine. In a court filing, the government said it appeared that Holmes had only modest assets outweighed by $450,000 in loans for the SEC settlement and a liability for legal fees in excess of $30 million. But, the, uh, but they said her ability to pay didn't matter. Although the amount of restitution may dwarf Holmes's ability to pay, those factors simply are not relevant to the court's determination of the restitution amount. It is unclear the assets that Balwani might have. His lawyer, Jeff Coopersmith, said that they respectfully disagree with the decision on the restitution order, of course. So, looks like, you know, you're going to be made a slave, basically, for the rest of your life. Read the 13th Amendment. Slavery still exists in America in the form of uh, you being a prisoner. All right. Read it for yourself. Uh, don't take it from me. So she's going to be a part of the system, the penal system. And then when she gets out, she's going to have this unimaginable debt hanging over her head. Because what is Elizabeth Holmes going to do? Her name is Mud. Martin Shkreli, uh, Farmer Bro, he's out there. He has a YouTube channel. It's pretty good, actually. Okay. Um, and this guy, say what you will about Martin Shkreli, okay? The guy's extremely intelligent, okay? Um, so there's no doubt that he's going to do like uh, the Wolf of Wall Street and um, become successful again doing something, okay? Elizabeth Holmes, I just don't know, okay? We'll, we'll see what happens with her, you know, but uh, we're not going to hear anything from her for a decade at least. And the channel will still be around in a decade. We will revisit. We will be there when they let her out and we will uh, hopefully score an interview with her and ask her to tell all of the young soldiers at that point why it is not a good idea to take shortcuts to building your wealth. All right. Uh, Holmes and Balwani together ran Theranos for several years. Holmes as its uh, CEO and Balwani as its COO, Chief Operating Officer. The company, which promised to revolutionize blood testing by using drops of blood to do dozens of tests, struggled to make its technology work and ended up secretly running most of its tests on commercial devices, including some that had been altered to use less blood. All right, guys, so that's what's going on there. Oh, man, who can you trust these days? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Don't trust the FDIC. Look at what they just did, okay? The move that they just made might be calculated to suppress community and regional banks and boost the fortunes of the large banks. Watch the video, guys. I'll talk to you soon.